Hello everyone. Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up and install RabbitMQ Server on Windows Server 2019 in GCP. Well, first of all, come to this page and here we have an image for RabbitMQ Server for our Google Cloud. Just click on this launch button and it will take you to a new page. From this page, give your deployment any name. I'll name it as rabbit and then in terms of your machine type select the one as per your liking but before that select your zone because because number of resources are dependent on your region and zone because some resources are available in only some specific zones so select the one as per your liking and then we'll move ahead i'm done here and after that scroll down leave everything as it is accept it and then click on deploy now it will start deploying your virtual machine for your rabbit mq server so here it says rabbit is being deployed so we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead and here our machine has been deployed and now here if you see we have our dp and along with that we have a drop down arrow from here click on set windows password and here give your username and remember that username as well i'll name it as rabbit mq after that click on this set button now it will set your username and then it will present you with a password after that here is your password copy it and save it somewhere safe after that click on this menu button and then click on compute engine from this page copy your external ip address i'll just copy that because we need it to make a remote desktop connection after that search for remote desktop connection in your system and just click on that and in that paste the copy address that you have just copied after that click on connect and now it will ask you to enter your name and then password so here i just need to enter the password that i have copied earlier after that click on ok and now it will prompt you with something like this do not worry and just click on yes and now it will open the windows server 2019 for you after the connection get established so here it is it is opening it up so we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead and as i have used the image from the description of this video so here you see we have all those things related to our rabbit mq on their own first of all open the command prompt for your rabbit mq from your desktop after that here i'll write a command as rabbit mq ctl space status this will check if our rabbit is up and running or not here it is not running do not worry i'll show you that how you can get rid of this problem after that i'll show you that how you can manage and how you can configure your erlang authentication cookies first of all open your file explorer and go to your c drive here it is after that go to your users and go to your rabbit mq folder from here if you see we have a file as dot erlang cookie just copy this file go back to your c drive and this time go to your windows after that go to your system 32 folder and then go to your config folder from here go to your system profile folder and here if you see we have dot erlang dot cookie file as well just paste the file that you have copied earlier it will ask you to replace the file in the destination just click on that and we are good to go now now let's head back to your command prompt that you have opened earlier and this time i'll write here rabbit mq dash service dot bad space stop because i want to stop this service first and then i'll restart it here it says rabbit mq service is stopping it might take few seconds to just wait for it here we are and the service has stopped let me clear my terminal or command prompt and now i'll reuse the command but this time at the end of it i'll write start because i want to start the service so just hit enter and here the service has started successfully now this time let's check the status once again hit enter and if you see something like this it means your service is up and running i'll just close this and now it's time to log in into our rabbit mq management for that purpose here you have a shortcut onto your desktop in case if you do not want to use it or if you do not see just open your internet explorer and go to the address http colon slash slash localhost colon 15672 slash it will take you to the same page where this shortcut is going to take you 
so i have just opened it now from this page enter the username as guest and do the same for your password i'll write here guest and i'll click on login let me maximize this one so this is the rabbit mq management console from here you can perform different things and you can have different information for example here it says queued message last minute currently idle message rates and some other information we have statistics ports and context and some other information as well and that brings us to the end of this video i hope now that you must have learned something new from this one and if that is the case please leave a like and subscribe and do not forget to check out the page for step by step guide on how to set up rabbitmq server in gcp and also check out the page for the image with rabbitmq for gcp if you have any query leave it in the comment below we'll get back to you as soon as possible i'll see you in the next video